Um, I had a storm roll in, so my lighting is like way off. Um, I try to get everything done during the daytime because of natural lighting and everything. Um, I don't have professional equipment, um, just an LED lamp, and I have a natural light sun lamp, but I never use it anymore. Anyway, if you want to see how I did this look, stay tuned. It is awfully long, and I apologize. Um, if you don't want to stick around for that, tomorrow is the last day. <laughs> they are bugged by the storm. Oh, sorry. Tomorrow is the last day. I'm giving it till 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to sign up for my giveaway because I will be doing the drawing. Um, actually, I take that back because I want to do it while my husband and daughter are here and they both have to work tomorrow. So I'm going to give it till. One PM Eastern Standard Time. Okay? So good luck. If you like what you see, ring the bell, mash the thumbs up, leave me a comment. Stay tuned. Hi my beauties. Okay, so I'm gonna do this get ready with me as kind of a tutorial as well. Um I've already primed my eyes using Urban Decay's um, eyeshadow primer potion. I swear by that stuff. And then I set it with my You Can Be Twilight and Dusk. Um, this one does have shadow names. It's the Royal. It's just that one right there. I usually use like a cream or, you know, very, very light color. Um, now I'm going to come in and do a few transition shades. And the first one, I'm, I'm using the Urban Decay. Urban Decay. BH Cosmetics Urban Deluxe Palette. And I'm going to come in, there it is, with this one first. Because as you can see, my favorite one to use, not much left. Um, brush that I'm going to use is my Real Techniques Essential Crease Brush. Just going to dip that in. And I start swirling motions and I always go above my crease because I have hooded eyes. So if you have hooded eyes, that's your target area. Um, if you don't, then you can go straight in at the crease. Well, this is a lot lighter than I anticipated. We're going to have to do a few. Shades here. And basically, I just check to make sure that they're even. If you're new to my channel, I have a leaky eye that keeps leaking earlier and earlier. I also have my quick change um, swatch. You just rub your brush in it, swirl it around, and it allows it to not uh, transfer the color. Does not take the place of washing your brushes. Big proponent on that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and come in with my next favorite right here. That I know will show up.
because I have a new play toy. No clues to what brand. I got it from uh, AliExpress. So I'm going to do another kind of browns and pinks. And that's one of the reasons that I pulled out this particular palette because it has this nice color that comes up kind of more of a peachy. And it just looks so great blended in with some of the other colors. And if you guys would not mind saying a prayer for my mother, for whatever reason they're having her do two PET scans in one day, um, she had been diagnosed four and a half years ago with lung cancer, stage 1B. We were so grateful because it was right after my dad died that she fell, went to the ER to get x-rayed. They were like, up, oh, you need to go see your doctor. So she did. They were like, nope, it's not a broken rib. However, we need to send you to an oncologist. And that was really scary because we thought the weight she was losing was due to the stress of losing my dad just a month earlier. It was that quick. Um, and so uh, she had surgery done where they took a wedge out of her lung. And that was done the because my dad died in November. That was in December that she was diagnosed. And then in February is when they scheduled the surgery. And um, we, uh, I went down to Florida to help my sister take care of mom and also be there for the surgery itself. And um, helping her bathe and everything, it was very much what I would imagine trying to help someone that was a Holocaust victim. I've, I've seen the, the pictures of them. You could see so prominently my mom's spine, as well as her ribs on the back side. That's how thin she got. She was nothing but just bones with barely any skin over it. It was very scary. Um, and then recently, I think that's recently she, um, during a PET scan yeah, that is. Um, they found another spot so um, now I'm going to come into the crease with this color right here they found another spot this time they had to do like a targeted 
Um, radiation. Um, now this one I'm putting a little bit lower. but not too, it's still above the crease though. So. Um, so now we're just waiting for the results of the PET scan. Both of them apparently. To see what they say, you know, if it took care of it or not. And then I also have a very dear, dear friend who is about to have surgery in September for a very rare cancer. It's a soft tissue cancer. And it's so rare that they had to send her testing results for her tumor that she found in her leg to... Uh, the Mayo Clinic and then she has to go to another state to have the surgery because that's the closest specialist. There's not much information even online about this form of cancer. She and I have been friends since we were teens. In fact, she went to a different school than me. How I met her was we both worked at the same place and I trained her. And so we don't know the exact outcomes that's going to happen because having this surgery will not stop other tumors from forming in soft tissue areas. And she has been through so much adversity. She, uh, a year ago, lost her son. Um, and just some other personal problems going on. And she could really use the prayers. Uh, more terrier topics. very hopeful strongly believe in the prayer power of prayer I've seen it work when my sister had a tumor on her uterus at the age of 16 my mom had to sign paperwork to do is direct me if they deemed it necessary when they got in there. So they ran all her testing, did all that. Then right before surgery, <coughs> shh, hey, nothing, nothing out there can bother us. Marley. Enough. Um, anyway, they went to do the pre surgery testing. The doctor told my mom they were going to hold off because the tumor dissipated into what they call freckles on her uterus. 
and they wanted to wait to see. The doctor said, he's never seen anything like it before. And they wanted to see what would happen. And it eventually just went away. And I currently have a beautiful niece and nephew from my sister. So, prayer works. Unfortunately, it works on his timetable, not ours. And it's within his will, which isn't necessarily the outcomes we want to hear. So, all right. Now, where to go? I have decided I really, really like this brush. Got it, I think, in Ipsy. And I thought it, yeah, it's a Visante. It's actually a concealer buffer, but as you can see, that's, it's very, very fluffy. It does wonders for blending. And I am a blend, blend, blend. This is so soft, so fluffy. that it pretty much does all the work. Not worried so much about the ends because I'm gonna darken that up. But already blended out. Because it's awesome. I'm going to go into. No. Wasn't, I think I wanted to stay. In this. Because there was one that was like. Ooh dark. Not black. I usually try to have an all mapped out of my colors beforehand, but sometimes, especially with this palette, because I forget where everything's, which ones that I was going into. I'm gonna darken it with this one, just on the outer. I'm gonna want something a little more precise. I'm going to take the real techniques shading brush. That's what it is. It's just this one. Like that. It's a little stain from when I did blues. Almost lost my color. That would have been funny. Now, I always start off right in the crease on the outer edge, and then just kind of work it in. And I don't go all the way over, because I'm actually gonna, when I'm blending, I'm gonna drag it in. 
And what that does is gives it kind of a, a nice definition without it just being bam. Kind of softens it a little bit by the time it gets to the inner. And then any of those of you who have really wrinkled lids or hooded lids, you want to kind of come up with it so that you're lifting the eye more instead of dragging it down. It's okay to go side to side. You just don't want to drag that downward. And I always have to hold the brush really on for this eye because otherwise I get in my own way. And what I always do is when I'm wanting to, to darken up the edges because of all the blending I do, I try to get it to the depth of darkness that I want it to be so that I can do this all in one step. I don't have to come back in with it but sometimes that is in the epic. and then most importantly you want to have both sides related don't have to be twins they do need to be related. Then I'm just going to come in with the Vasante again. And when you're dragging it to the inner, what I do is I just kind of swirl it and drag. And then I went she'll wipe. I do want to drag that up just a little. Okay. All right. Due to time, I'm going to pause you. I'm going to blend this one out, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Went ahead and cleaned up a little bit under my eyes while I was off camera, but <coughs> thinking. I'm just going to stick with this palette. I'm actually going to come in with this pink. And I'm going to lay that one over it because one's too light, one's too dark. So what do you do? Use them both. And this is just a, a Morphe flat brush. And this is what I'm actually going to put on my lid. And hope it does a lot better than pink normally does on me. Because a lot of times 
it just makes me <laughs> look like I'm sick. And it is completely turning my lashes pink. It was getting a little patchy, so. And you can intensify the color just using your finger. And it would help if I got each side. Whew. Pink. Um, okay, let me come into this lighter one with my finger. the shade that I want. Okay. And the other side. And then what I always do is I try to get my edges to blend. trying to get the powder that's trying to settle on my eyelashes. Okay. Um, before I do my final cleanup, I am going to Come back in with my Canby. Pick up that Royal. With the highlight on the brow. kind of dump that on a little more than I should because that out sure has nothing 
going to take that. And blend it in. are so dry. So, as you can see, I have everything blended. We are blended. Then, grab my Q-tips, and I always keep a little micellar water because you never know when you're gonna make a mess. Or have so much pink on your eye. Because there was just so much fallout. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause again and I'm just going to do my face and I'll come back when I'm ready to do the under eye, the eyeliner, the mascara, and all that. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and did my brows. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in under my eye with this right here. It's a real pretty color and it's a little bit of a shimmer. I'm just using my Morphe flat brush. But it has more of like a almost like a, a greenish gray tone to it and it makes it real perfect for lining the under eye and wow storm is moving in goodness now that seems too dark My baby's a little bugged. Shh. It's okay. Watch your stories.
I am losing daylight real quick. Awfully dark outside. What I'm doing on the edges is just kind of connecting it to what's hanging over from the top. Which is what makes it tricky with my leaky eye. I think my daughter's done with the in and out, so we should be good now. I'm gonna come in with the, this does have a name, by the way. It's, um, stuff all over me. Pop Feel Liquid Crystal Liner. And it's in EA03. And that's what it looks like. I'm going to hit the top lid. And sorry, I know this is cast, casting such a glare. I need to find a better position for my light. But until that happens, cooking with some gas. It's kind of like a, a clear gel with pink glitter. So you need to make sure getting the glitter part on because it seems to only be picking up on one side of this little brush. Ooh, right in the eyelash. That can't be good. Sorry. I need like full on light. This is hard to see. Alright guys, I thought this would be quick and painless. I mean, it is painless, but certainly isn't quick.
not in the eyebrow. Normally, right, whoops. right along by the inner eye, I much prefer a thinner line. It is very pretty. It's just not that easy. At least not with my old wrinkly eyes. Big old gobbledygooks. In my eyelashes. Trying to fill in the gaps. This is probably something I should have just done and then worry about doing it on camera. <laughs> anyway, a big tip for mascara. is to always do your bottom lashes first. The reason I do this is so that when I'm doing my top lashes, after everything is good because if I do my top then my bottoms what I'm doing right here will cause black dots all along the top lid and if you get a spot on your skin leave it alone wait for it to dry 
nine times out of ten you can just kind of take your nail and scrape it off on that one occasion that you can't it still works much better when you get the micellar water out to fix it <laughs> It's just storms. And, because if you do it while it's wet, all you're going to do is cause a huge streak. Now, normally, I don't do the second coat on my bottom lashes except for when I do something a little dramatic like glitter eyeliner I want those bad boys to pop Okay, now that I got the bottoms done, come in with the top, and I always kind of wipe off the excess. That helps in keeping from getting it all over yourself. Now, I don't fully do the other side. I just kind of do the tips. For the most part, it's the underside that I do. It's okay, my darlings. Normally, they don't freak out this time. It's enough for a storm. I'm also one that I like to get each and every little lash. Now, I recently saw a tip of getting those um, inner flossers for your teeth and using that to get the little baby lashes. I'm going to have to try that, see if it does work. Never pump your brush into the mascara bottle because, and if you think about it, it makes sense. When you pump, you're pumping in air, which allows bacteria to grow. And leads to more eye infections. So those times where you're like, this mascara is irritating my eye. <laughs> Ask yourself, did you pump the brush into the tube? I. See, this is what I'm talking about. If I try to get that right now, it's going to smear. 
Marley, no. And a smear, much more difficult to clean up. Then just a little dry spot. But it's so hard to just leave it until it fully dries. And I just made it larger. You see? This is what happens when you try to walk and chew gum at the same time. I don't know about you, but I never focus so much until I'm putting mascara on. My babies. Shh. Enough. And then, if you're new to my channel, I loathe clumps. Now, I know some people really enjoy having spidery clumpy lashes and that's fine because makeup is an art okay it's what makes you feel good not other people if you're doing it for other people doing it for the wrong reasons doing makeup should be an extension of yourself not someone else so if someone tries to tell you, oh, well, you know, the rule is, no, there are no rules. Just like with art, there are no rules. Might be some guidelines to get you started. But... No rules. That's my opinion about it. Hush! Now they're playing. And when Ladybug and Marley get to playing, Boo feels she's got to announce it to everybody. Including the dead. Anyway, makeup should be fun. It should be your expression, your art. And like I said, I wouldn't pay any attention to anyone who tells you differently. Okay? Now, what I may like and what you may like might be different. And that's what makes us great. <laughs> let it dry, let it dry. All right. This is Foombi Matte Liquid Lipstick. Long lasting in F5. That's what it looks like. I do it 
and then I can't see. There we go. I think that's a happy medium. Now, I always, before using a liquid lipstick, use lip balm. It gives it that deep moisturizing. Ooh, this is dark. Not very opaque in the least bit. I don't know. I do not know how I'm feeling about this. It's very patchy. teeth. Now, before I show you the trick, because I know this is going to stain, and just feel that. Okay. Trick so that any lipstick, any liquid lipstick, any 
you know, bullet lipstick to keep it from getting on your teeth so much. Just like that. Hmm. This did not move. Those edges. I will say this. Dries down really quick because, as you can see, nothing on the hand. Nothing. Hard as I could. Barely. Now, that is good in some ways, bad in others. It means it'll last through your drinking, probably eating, depending on how oily what you're having is. But it's going to be drying and it's going to be hard to get off. But anyway, this is going to, this has gone on long enough. Let me bring, whoops. Try that again. Um, let's see. That might be too big of a spot. Scrape. And I was right. It's too big of a spot. And you're crooked again. I'm just... Now, what I do is I just kind of dab. Then I come in with the clean end. And dab. I have a feeling... in order to fix that. Yeah, I'm going to have to come back in and fix that. It was just way too big of a spot to do what I wanted it to do. But I will bring it in close so you can see. Okay. So how the eyes came out. And you can see how patchy this is. I'm not thrilled with that. Let's see where I gotta fix. Okay. Really fast. Tomorrow's the last day. I'm gonna give it till. 3 p.m. tomorrow to enter my giveaway. I'll link that down below. And goodbye, my beauties.